It's rebuilding after powerful storms swept through on Sunday. Good evening, everybody. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kiana Burks. In for cat thunderstorms and even the threat of tornadoes across our region. You can see the images in the video behind us, but it was the torrential rains that left their mark. Channel 3's Calvin Cutler assessing some of the damage tonight. Calvin, what are you seeing? Yeah, good evening, Darren and Kiana. I'm here along Dewey Hill Road in the town of Stowe, where, as you can see, rushing waters swept away multiple culverts and a part of the road which was just paved about two weeks ago. Now, all throughout the day today, road crews in Stowe and elsewhere across the state have been working to clean up and repair roads. The powerful storms, which sparked multiple tornado warnings, dumped heavy rain that hit local roads and communities across Vermont. A lot of wind, a lot of rain. Yeah, it was, it was pretty wild. Small creeks and river streams transformed into torrents, washing out culverts and crumbling an entire lane on the Bolton Access Road. On Honey Hollow Road in Richmond, multiple washouts stretching about a mile. It was dark. It was scary. I like ran over boulders. Alex Noyes got home from work around 9 p.m. on Sunday. She woke up and sent us this video of her driveway on Stowe Hollow Road. There was a 15 foot gap and I think it was nine feet deep right in front of my driveway. She then continued on. I'm looking for my hot pink mailbox that washed away yesterday in the storm. In Stowe, road crews worked feverishly into the night to rebuild Dewey Hill Road. We had uh, major flood damage here on Dewey Hill, took out both sides of the road. We're just working as fast as we can to get the roads passable. Rebuilding old rusted culverts, while frustrated drivers tried to find alternative routes. Coming up to here was all completely normal. I saw nothing out of the ordinary, and then I come on this, and it's a war zone. I'm trying to get home, <laughs> and the road is kind of gone, so they're fixing it. They're doing a great job fixing it, but it's definitely a little inconvenient. The Agency of Transportation says state roads were largely spared, though Route 12 on the Elmore-Worcester line sustained damage. Now, this storm also sparked multiple tornado warnings in our region as well, though the National Weather Service in Burlington tells me that they don't believe any touched ground and that there was no significant wind damage in Vermont. Reporting live in Stowe, Galvin Cutler, Channel 3 News.